<laughs> Lost Talk Radio. Yay. Hello, this is Jonathan, and I'm here to host our, our show, Life Laughter Happiness. Um, Yay. Our, our co-host, Barbara, might be busy uh, right now doing some moving, but that's fine. I mean, she's here with us in spirit. She knows we have a show, and if she wants to call in, she can. Um the uh, thing is, is that uh, we have um, my co-host, uh, Kelly. Are you there, Kelly? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh. Hey, girl. Okay. Now, what we're, doing, <laughs> what, we're doing today, what we're doing today is something interesting that we haven't done before. Um, we have, because, you know, sometimes you have psychics who are, you know, not comfortable with the subject of mediumship, and then you have... Me, you know, and I'm not. And sometimes you have psychics who can be mediums, but they they usually get associated with being more of a medium than they do with uh, being a psychic. Um, Karen Page has been a good friend of the show. Are you there, Karen? I'm right here, Mr. Jonathan. Right. Now <laughs> we've associated you to being a psychic. Although I have to say, and I have talked to Vanessa or about this, I find it hard to believe that you wouldn't be able to pick up anything if you went into a haunted house. Oh, no, um, I all. Of that's course the, I do. Well, but you <laughs> but see, you understand what I'm saying, Vanessa? It, 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 it's like, to me, I would label that as a medium. How is that different than a medium, Vanessa? Which, which by the way, you wanted to, you, you're, you're a psychic and you're also a medium, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am. But if, I, how, is not, how is picking up something in a, uh, in a haunted house not like a medium, though? So I guess the question is for me, yes? Yes, yes. What, the que- the oh, question, I'll just the jump is- in or we'll have Miss Blog Talk do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need more cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, i got to tell you, the energies have been building around this show, and I knew that Karen was going to be fantastic and medicinal. So... I am just having a great time already, so thank you, everybody. Oh, I'm so but, glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll smile every yeah, time you see a tampon. Okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of now, you just but, tuning in, there is a story behind that. Oh, my God, you took yeah, the words we'll, we'll out of my mouth, Kelly. Way. I was going to say, I can imagine if somebody doesn't know the story that they're going, what? <laughs> what story are we listening but, I mean, to? I guess what I'm, what I'm curious is is that the energy that, that comes with being a medium and being a psychic, I mean, it's you would think that they were kind of the same. Am I right, Vanessa, or am I wrong? You know, I think it just depends on the intuit, the intuitive. And Absolutely. I didn't think, yeah, I, I always thought I was just a psychic. But then, I mean, I've always talked to dead people since I was a little kid. They would come and talk to me, and and I people would ask me, can you connect me with someone on the other side? And it would, I would just, it would just happen because it's a vibration. And you didn't say to them, do you have their number? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't have to get a pink number and get in line either. Yeah, it's like uh, it's interesting. It's interesting how it works. Like as I'm sitting here, there's a lot of activity right here around me, um, and there's certain signs and senses that I pick up on. These are the sharpest things that I'm getting in my ear tonight that I've probably ever had. So this is going to be a very powerful, high-tier energy show, which is perfect because well, it raises the vibrations. I mean, like, yeah. mm-hmm. but I, I didn't okay. know what you're saying. I didn't mean you cut you off. That's all right. No, that's okay. Go ahead. You're, very, okay. you're a man well, that wants to know answers, so ready. Yep. Right. Let's be like, <laughs> I've heard Karen Page say, although on the other hand, she goes, I have – I have um, I have a, a group around me. I think you were referring to the people like your mom, your sister. Oh, yeah. You said that I you have a group. Cause, you know, she is, yeah, it, and she's the only living one left. Now, I don't know if yeah. you meant that when you pick up on them or you talk to them every day. But oh, I sweetheart, would, I, I as the, I'm the last, Jonathan, 
I'm the last living member of my family, and I've never had a day alone in my life. That's well, true. That her. I, like the at, media to me. I saw her. I went up. I know when I was looking at Karen's photograph online on on her website, which, by the way, fantastic website. Mine's under construction. Oh, thank you. It's very inspirational. If you look around Karen's art field, it's so female dominated with people that are passed along to the other side. But they're around her. I saw someone very significant on Karen's right side. And feel free to correct me, Karen. But oh, no, I'm, I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I saw that day. And then now as we sit here, that it's, there are so many fantastic people around Karen. It's in the DNA. True. It's absolutely mm. true. I And okay. I... I I'm I'm saddened when people do not do not give themselves permission to connect with oh. the love that comes from the other side. Oh yeah, good Be- point. Because death is just it's like, you know, uh it, your car even gives out, you know? And mm-hmm. you have to you take care of it and eventually you're going to have to get a new car. You know, okay. we come in this life, and our bodies are built for obsolescence. It's the soul that lasts forever. And the people yeah. that we love, when their bodies or that model car <laughs> gives out, you know, it is. it doesn't lessen the impact that they had on our lives. And... I've never had a day alone in my life. And I have cleaned, it's the Mm -hmm. truth, I have Mm -hmm. cleaned hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of properties all over the world. And there are some some places that I've walked into, and I'm sure you have too, Vanessa, where you go, whoa, okay, (laughs) Um, okay. What the heck were these people thinking wanting to buy this place? You know, I mean, true. Yeah. or or a property that ha- can't, they can't give it away because people run in and run out the door. And mm-hmm. I remember like what, <laughs> oh my God, I was in one, I was in, walked in one house and I said to them, you can't buy this house. And they said, why not? And I said, because it's already occupied. <laughs> Yeah. And they looked at me and okay. said, but it's empty. And I said, oh, no, it's not, honey. <laughs> now, and they don't need furniture, you, you know. <laughs> for the sake, so for the sake of what we're doing for the show, I think we set it up to where Vanessa, we, we'll be taking some calls, and that uh, Vanessa, you would be doing the medium questions. Oh, sure. And Karen, you'd be doing the stock questions. Okay, so we have yes, a sir. call. So we're going to go ahead and put a call on. Area code 347, you are on the air. Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. Okay. Welcome to the show. So you heard what we said. We have a psychic and we have a medium here. So if you you have a medium question, Vanessa will answer it. If if psychic question, Karen will answer it. Which which question do you have, or is it for both? Um, It's psychic question. Okay. What's that, honey? I want to talk about um, love life with you, about my love life if possible. You're someone I have feelings for, and I just wanted to see if we could pick up how he feels about me and if you see your future with us. Um, He's not that guy, honey. There's not a nice way to say that to you. If you want to be friends, you can be friends, but he's not that guy. Yeah, and, and I know you're going to laugh at me. You are a really nice woman. You are a lovely woman. And what you want, what you want and what he wants are two different things. I And he's very sweet with you and all that other happy horse stuff. But it's not, it's not him, sweetheart. On a personal, this is a guy that is not comfortable um, allowing himself to be vulnerable, and you are incredibly sensitive, and 
I, there's not a nice way to say this. I think as a friend, you guys could make great friends. But I think if you try to turn this into something romantic or whatever the fa- that fantasy is f- with him, I think he's gonna he could really hurt you. And I don't think that's that, – that doesn't feel like the reason he is in your life is to be your romantic partner. I'm sorry. Okay, go. You picked up on someone right. else, another another person in his orbit. I do. Yeah. Well, I don't think that how he presents himself to her is who Correct. he really is in personal relationships, and that's the part that you. concerns me. And I also think the the guy that she's going to be with is literally around the corner. He's the <laughs> real it. guy. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's so and, funny. It's so great. Yeah, well, it's – and I know that he, he – you bring out very lovely things in him, but not anywhere near what you deserve in a relationship, and he will never allow himself to be vulnerable to a woman. He has some mom issues, honey. Why do I think that? Yep. I, I couldn't find a soul contract. So, is there anything else you want to ask me? No. We, we've been involved um, since this last winter, and we're still uh, sort of involved. And so. Be careful, honey. There's something being hidden. I wonder if you picked yes, up on that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's and no soul I'm contract t- here. What, I'm sweetheart? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm not That's picking okay. up on the soul contract. Yeah, Karen, I don't I, know. I'm not picking I don't up either. on the soul contract. Yeah. I think he's a placeholder for you. He does not feel like the man of your life. I keep seeing a lack of longevity and a lack of... Uh, adherent to a contract or vows. Oh, for sure. I think that he has he has mm-hmm. I- women issues, you know, mm-hmm. and it there's a uh, unresolved anger. And mm-hmm. you've not ever seen that, and I highly doubt that you ever will, unless you try and turn this into something that it's not supposed to be, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. And you know what? My price is the same. You can be mad at me for telling you the truth, but I don't have any other choice. I have to. I have six planets ruled by Venus. I would love to tell you this is the guy and the man you're going to spend your life with and grow old together. That's not what this feels like to me. That's not what I see. So I'm sorry, sweetheart. Just protect yourself, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, does that answer your question, ma'am? Does that answer your question, ma'am? Does that answer your questions, ma'am? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. The next one is area code 646. 646, you're on the air. Six four six. Jeopardy theme song in the background. Hello. Sometimes these people just want to listen in. So it's just this try six for six. Okay. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. There you go. Three three zero. Three three zero, you're on the air. Hi, thank you. Okay. You got a psychic and you got a medium. Is this a medium question or a psychic question? Um I guess both. <laughs> I'll go okay, for both. it. That's fine. Yeah. What, it's kind of the question? same question the last lady had. I reconnected oh, really? with a friend, but nothing has moved past the friendship stage, so I don't know. You know um, you I'm scare him to know. death. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know you scare him to death. <laughs> no. Well, I you know, know. Right on the he, I mean, isn't that what it feels like to you, Vanessa? Yeah. He feels well, like 
he has mm-hmm. always had these enormous feelings for you, but it scares him to death because it's overwhelming. <laughs> oh my! I've had a crush on him since grade school. I'm telling you, and he has too, honey, on you. But it oh feels God. like he feels like he. So help me God on my mother's soul. I was going to say to you, he feels like every time he sees you or you guys talk, he's like this little boy inside that goes, oh, "She likes me." I mean, wow. I, I, I'm not kidding. He's still that oh. little kid inside. Well, I well, that's we meet, and uh-huh. I get nothing. I've suggested we meet up and everything, and I get nothing other than cute friend stuff. Uh, honey, he scare, so you long. scare him to death. <laughs> and his How do we get feeling, past it? You don't. You know, I always think God knows exactly what he's doing. And you guys aren't 12 anymore. You know, you're both grown-ups. Yeah. And he he's you have given him 784 at least opportunities to let's see if this goes anywhere. I like I you. Uh, I you like me. Uh hello. What's the yeah. problem here? You know, so, and when people show us who they are, I and honestly, I think this is God saving you from yourself because oh. I he doesn't feel like he's enough for you, and he knows that. Huh. And he's not a bad person, but he's not he's not your relationship, and he knows he's not enough. Okay, you're like the dream fantasy dream girl. Wow. Okay. I'm serious. He's felt that way since you were kids. And you are, <laughs> he looks at you and goes, oh, she's, if she finds out, you know, I'm just Joe Schmo, you know, she's she's not going to like me anymore. And I think his biggest fear is you're going to find out who he is. And there's nothing wrong with him. He's a very sweet guy. He just yeah. is insecure. Oh, boy. I picked up on two. I picked up on two past lifetimes, and in one of the past lifetimes, you were a parent to him. You were a, oh. a male role. Oh wow! Father. Does that feel right? <laughs> yeah, and when when your voice when you opened up with your voice, I saw the wall. So it's like talking to a wall. It's like wall flowers. So you're taking the lead in this lifetime, but you rather are here to nurture him. But there's there's a gap of uh, maturation between you and he. And it oh, would God, take, what you a would wise, that's so wise. You're <laughs> absolutely right. Well, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, um, this, this is a fantastic reading for you because Karen, I've been testing all her statements, and I've been getting a resounding yes. And it's sad because, you know, you've been yeah. with the, a return on the investment is not there. Yeah, and you, yep. you it's not supposed to be that complicated, sweetheart. Yeah, that's a I didn't good think point. so. You're you're absolutely right. And please, you know, let be friends. He can do that. The other Okay. Uh save your energy because there'll be somebody coming along in, before the end of the year that uh-huh. that's that's the guy. And trust me, you, know, you will know it. Yeah. Okay. Karen makes such a fantastic point. Karen said it, it doesn't have to be that difficult. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And that is the hallmark of a proper match. Yeah. That's really well said, Karen. Well, no, that's, that's true. Good. It's Because it's, if it's not organic and you have to work that hard, you know, and connect the dots for them to get from A to B. Something's really wrong. And this is not a stupid guy. He just feels like this terrified kid inside that can't get out of his own way. <laughs> and and I really got it to and you don't need a man to give you an identity, honey. You have one. And and he's you know, he knows he's not enough for you and there's no nice way to say that. He's a lovely guy. He's just not enough for you. And you, I okay. hope you, hey, please, hear, hear Vanessa and I. I beg of you for you. 
Don't you deserve to be happy? Absolutely. And I I do need a partner and I thought No, you, you know, want a partner. Great. Yes. You want, I do want a, a partner. partner. Big difference and between needing and wanting. That, I do want one. Yep. You could be raising him as a child. That does happen. And and so. you know, my theory is if she wanted to adopt a child, she would do that. <laughs> Not one that old. One she could have some input, you know? <laughs> yes. But, you know, it can happen. Okay. You can marry someone that's a man child and then wind up raising them. It's Oh my god, that's other... so true. <laughs> it's like that's so yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and it's when you have to keep changing the bottle that's the nightmare. It's like, come <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> that's a lot like that. So does that, um, that's a lot does that like answer it. your questions, ma'am? That's absolutely wonderful because it was becoming more difficult, and now I know why, and I really appreciate this. Well, put into you're words a lovely everything girl. Everything I was thinking. Be happy, sweetheart. Thank you, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Poor Jonathan, you're like right. the, the wee rooster in the hen house right now. <laughs> He's such a doll. <laughs> he deals with us, and it's like, oh, my God, more hormones. Hello. <laughs> tampon, tampon. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, actually, it's funny. It's a funny story before we go on to the next call. I was in I was in the biology tutorial, and uh, and I was asked by a biology tutor, "Say, why do they call Trojans condoms Trojans?" And she goes, "Well, you know, because guys like to be tough. That's why they call it that." And I said, "Oh, I thought they called it that because of the horse that sneaks in." <laughs> <laughs> Did she just look at you like what? <laughs> no, she loved it. But I thought see honestly, another thought one that. of those people like, making you know, things more complicated than they need to well, be. <laughs> but I have a question: Am I the one that thought that, or is am I alone? Is what, honey? You or Karen? Did it? Did anybody else think that? I mean, that that Trojans was for the horse that sneaks in. I did. Yeah, I did. so did I. Yeah. Yeah, because it's essentially oh. hidden. Yeah, I, I mean, that. it's like, and where in the world did she get that? What a bizarre <laughs> answer. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. <laughs> Those are the ones you look at and go, uh, okay, yeah, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> well, that's where I was at, and I'm like, wait a minute, horse, and don't they make the magnums? Okay, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, that's funny. And now we veered off into something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> and the next no, call okay. will go, and what was your question? <laughs> okay. All right, we got area code 860. 860, you're on the air. Hello. Hi. Hello. (laughs) I have the same theme. I'm sorry. It's like three in a row now. (laughs) Why are you sorry? I shouldn't be sorry. but um, Honey, that's what we're here for. That's right. I know. It's it's a pleasure to talk to you guys. And, um, you know, I'm really – it's minus a little bit of a different twist. Um, What can I I have to say? I have to say something, okay? Sure. Vanessa, this feels like your call because this oh. feels like an old connection. Isn't that oh. interesting who she's asking about? I haven't picked <laughs> up on it yet. Maybe it's your question. Isn't um, that interesting? Yeah, well, it it well, is I interesting. I think, I think they found my twin flame kind of thing. It's like it's been a year and – um. It's a combination of the first two colors, but here's the twist. I just put it out there, and I'm literally – it's its not in my head anymore. It's in my heart. I am surrendering. I professed how I felt, and and um, I, I just – you know, I want to date him. I don't want this limbo land. He's, he's scared because he thinks I'm um, – 
too good to be true as well, all of that stuff. But I can't, for whatever reason, I can't cut cords with this person. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, so, there, there it is right there. Well, yeah, go ahead. But I picked up on a red flag. Yeah, go ahead. Well, are you trying to fix what you didn't break or prove to him you're right, honey? I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just, like, for once in my life, it sounds so cliche, but I completely fell in love with myself in the last year. And I love <laughs> you unconditionally. <laughs> I did. I love that line. <laughs> I, we could all learn from that. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, true. I haven't had an easy life either. And just to, to love myself and look in the mirror and say, you are a beautiful soul. Okay, and you so matter. My, uh, here's my, what's your first name? My name's Amla. Oh, what a beautiful name. Thank you. So, Amla, I have a que- I now I have a question for you. Okay? Sure. Why if you love yourself, okay? And you know that you deserve to be happy and yes. to you deserve to be appreciated and cherished, okay? Yes. Why would you settle for somebody that is scared of his own shadow? I don't I don't know. I'm not I don't think I'm trying to fix him. I just I see you know what it is? This is it. It's epiphany moment. I see the old me in him and I feel for him because I had nobody myself. That's okay, it. However, is. honey, that's not your job in this life. I and know. if you, if that's, I want you to understand that his um, stepping away from the love, okay, yeah. is, is that, that's a very clear message for you. I know okay. that you, I want you to understand the lesson in okay. the relationship. And Vanessa, I promise you this is your thing because I'm telling you this is an old lesson for her from another life with this guy. Oh. And I know that as sure as I'm breathing, you know? Wow. Is is this gentleman a lot like a fatherly figure to you or seems fatherly or have fatherly advice? Yes. Yeah. Ah, a, and, and bingo, that, yeah, mama. <laughs> yeah, and that when Karen said, you know, older, like an old, you know, soul type yeah, thing this here, it, definitely mm-hmm. is not from this life. No, exactly. No, I don't so think so. If I was, yeah. And well, I and I have to say, and I think we're in another life. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, sweetie. Yeah, it feels like you are trying to recreate a bond that isn't doesn't exist in this lifetime. Okay, okay. that makes sense. That does make Do you sense. Know, <laughs> yeah, I'm go, picking go up ahead. On at least five. Yeah, I'm already picking up on several lifetimes. I got up to five, six, six lifetimes, and. Okay, oh, and fine. Amala, aren't you aren't you bored now? I mean, it's like enough already. <laughs> it's like, look, I've given yeah. you five lifetimes. You know, what are you waiting for, dude? <laughs> and, and, he, and he followed <laughs> Amala to this lifetime. And wow. what, sweetheart? He, he followed just... you to this. Oh, that yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that feels ten thousand percent right. Mm-hmm. What he that said, what did say? I'm sorry, you missed he, that. Sweetie, he followed you to this lifetime. It's a thing. There are Absolutely. Souls. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That feels 10,000% right. <laughs> wow. So now what, and, what do you and, and yeah. he followed her here because she always took responsibility for him in the mm-hmm. other lives. That is correct. I got a yes on that. Uh, uh, it's wow. like free wow. yourself, darling. Be friends with him if you can from a distance, but 
It ain't him, babe. <laughs> okay. Karen, do now, you feel like does that somebody, answer all your questions? Do you feel like you? I'm going to meet somebody this summer? Then, like somebody else? Actually, I think you're going to meet him around the winter time. Oh, the right. winter time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Getting like Thanksgiving ish. <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> awesome. Well, so, you know, it's, what, can, can I ask you just one thing? What can I do? to really, truly let go of this person. I've done full moon ceremonies. I've cried. I've tried to cut cords. Sweetheart. It's a, it's a clearing of the DNA because it looks like, and I'm Karen Tess here with me, but it looks like there was clearly bloodline crossed in these other lifetimes, which is why he has followed you here. It's, you know, you make things easy, so it would be a clearing of DNA. I actually see trauma, which... Which is why it's so painful for her. Right. It looks like someone saved someone's life, and I, I'm i trying not to build too much out of this, but I'm actually sure. getting some... Conf- yeah, I'm actually getting confirmation on a brave act, and you saved someone's life, and it was this gentleman. If he, he, was, he was a gentleman in this lifetime. It wouldn't take me long to configure what what's going on there, but they show me a crossing of swords, and they show me a bloodline that was crossed, and a lot of crossing, and a lot of, um, um, you know how you have crossed hairs? They show me a lot of that. So it's, you know how roads mm-hmm. come together? That's yep. of corners. There's a lot of geometry here. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be beyond you to probably consider if if you, I know you want to break away, so we probably don't need to do any numerology. But you can literally get your scissors out of your kitchen and cut the yeah. cords around your silhouette, and then put your scissors in uh, a flower pot or in the garden. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Okay. It's dark. Okay. Cool. And and the and there's one other thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm begging you to please separate yourself from the illusion of who he is and who he really is with you in this life. Okay. That makes okay. sense. No, yeah. trying is like yeah. being pregnant. You either are or you're not. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Please just do it, Dolly. Yeah, that's oh my gosh, okay. too. I agree. Uh, can I just what, can I just have your website? You guys are awesome. <laughs> really. Hey, thank you. Mine's <laughs> easy. I was yeah. going to do EleanorRoosevelt.com, but it was too complicated, so I did KarenPage.com. <laughs> <laughs> Karen KarenPage.com? Karen Page. Oh, Karen yep. Page. Okay. And yours, cool. Vanessa? It's full What's full yours, reading? Vanessa? What's yours, Vanessa? Full soul reading. I'm okay. on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Okay. It's Bomba11. Okay. You might need to spell it out. That's awesome. V O. Yeah. V O. V like Victor. A. Yeah. And you're yeah, on Bamba. Facebook, right? Are you guys on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, mine's not really. Okay. Clear. Okay. Mine. Mine. I'm not connected. Well, you. I am, but I don't go. I don't go on there very often. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I know. No, that's just I don't Karen, I'm your eight zillion <laughs> followers haven't heard from you in a while. It's like <laughs> get out of Dodge. You're kidding. <laughs> your eight zillion so you can followers. always find us on Life Laughter Happiness on Facebook. So Oh yeah. Come on over. Well, this awesome. is okay. such a I'm so glad you and jo- you guys put this show together because it's oh, so it's much fun. Show. Oh thank okay. you. Okay. Now, did that answer all your questions, ma'am? Did that answer your questions, ma'am? Amala? Is she still there? Yes. Does that answer answer your questions, honey? Yes, it does. And I really am so grateful. You guys were – I love hearing the fact that you're so straight to the point, and that's how I speak. So that really resonates with me. And, Vanessa, this is amazing with this whole DNA business. It's yeah, interesting. interesting. You're very interesting. You have so much of a gift. Well, doesn't it doesn't yeah, that just absolutely have, actually, hit I've the nail on the cor- on the head? Yeah. 
Yeah. He's dead. I've actually had yep. nicknames for both of them. I call Karen Page the Sage, and I call Vanessa the Oracle <laughs> Or. <laughs> God, he That's got really us, cool. Vanessa. <laughs> I love that one. Love I like it. I mean, seriously, that's, that's what it feels like when I talk to both of you. What do you think of that nickname, Vanessa? Do you like it? I love it. You make my heart sing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, they so have hard. the most. Vanessa, I, I, when Jonathan and Kelly started co-hosting together, it had the most beautiful balance to it. They are such, they both They're have genius. such beautiful energy to bring together. Yep. Isn't that isn't it's that wonderful? True. Well thank you. you know, it's it true. Is, it's great. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Well it makes uh, me feel like I'm at did... home every time we have a show. Well it's you guys because... have this beautiful, beautiful chemistry on the air and you bring it's... very different things, but it's such a beautiful balance. And by it's the true. way, I should also let you know Barbara just texted me. She's not going to be here tonight, but she just wanted everyone to say to say hello to everyone. And um, you know, she's sorry that she's not here. She's just busy taking care of some things. But we wish her well. And um, absolutely, tell you know, her it's rock kind of on, funny girl. Because, like, I mean, but one of the things <laughs> that I love about your different styles is that whenever I hear Karen Page talk, she sounds like she's a flight attendant telling you your <laughs> in-flight instructions. <laughs> And Vanessa, you sound like a very nice doctor. Like you do this, oh it's God. like it's like this is this is when you talk to Vanessa, you go, okay, uh, I'm getting a yes. It. Um, it's sort of like you. I mean, I mean, I hope you take this the right way. And this, I mean, to me, this is a compliment, but it's like you. No, it's like we're a highly in offended, Jonathan. Do <laughs> my nose. Well, I'm going to go the oxygen you and, 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 you? and you can use your flotation seat and. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you that, Vanessa? Well, I'm sorry, I lost it. Uh, what did you say? I apologize. Well, well it sounds, Dr. Orr. It sounds like you know, whenever I talk to you, I feel like I'm I'm going I'm at the doctor and you're reading the results, the lab results. Oh, you say that's it, hilarious. Like, oh, I get a yes, I get a no, I get a. You know see what I'm saying? It's very nice, by the way. That's I like hilarious. It. Oh, I'm so glad people tell me that. I also have people, they say, when will you be on health care insurance? They ask me that a lot. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> that a riot? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I thought that was so But, you know, but Karen, Karen does this. Karen, like, oh, it's like, it's like Karen, it's like Karen, Karen Page saying, yes, yeah, so don't worry about it. You know, she'll say it in the same tone yeah. as somebody <laughs> saying, you do it in the same tone as saying, our in-flight movie is Toy Story 4, right? That's what we anticipated happening to you want a pillow. <laughs> that is priceless, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan's the comedian and I'm the librarian. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Whenever she yeah, that, he, this is talk, from his old stand up like, comedy days. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh my god, god that's Barry. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Well they didn't they okay. don't need to worry about you guys having a show that has no color. Let's <laughs> yeah. okay. talk about tampons. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> There's actually every a time he mentions somewhere. that, I just burst out laughing <laughs> because it is one There's of the funniest stories. I don't know if you've heard it. There's a joke I've heard. I don't know if you've heard it before. Where this guy goes into the 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 the, the, the uh, bathroom at the ladies' room. You ever heard this one? And uh, no. they tell him he has to use the ladies' room because the men's room is closed. So what happens is is that he there are three buttons that he has to press. One says PP, one says WW, and the other one says ATR. Well, he sits down, he presses PP, and then you know, he's, he's like his rear end is powder puffed. Then he presses the um, <laughs> AWR button that says it says warm water. And then as he presses the ATR button, he wakes up in the hospital all covered in morphine. So they said, oh, so the God. hospital nurse comes in and he goes, 
First of all, you why did you have to press the automatic tampon removal button? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> See if you had only known that answer in your customer service days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's reported for quality. Oh my <laughs> god, that's hilarious. <laughs> The automatic tampon removal button on a guy would not would would be horrible. No, no, wouldn't have the same effect. Definitely, <laughs> <laughs> might need to use one. <laughs> oh my okay. God, that's hilarious, Jonathan. Area oh code seven oh seven. You're on the air. Hi. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Sounds like you guys are having a nice party. This is great. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> and Karen, I spoke with you a couple of months ago, and you saw this tall, nice-looking uh, guy for me. He was the one, and that I would meet him at the end of May. So I kind of want to get an update on that. Uh, yes. What would you like to know, sweetheart? <laughs> I remember you. Um, yeah, today's the 31st, so he should be around any second now. <laughs> the funny part is you you may have already you may have already yes. casually. Yes. yes. I keep wanting to say casually it. seen each other because he feels yes, yes. like he's around you. Karen, that's absolutely on target. Isn't that exactly what it feels like, yep. Vanessa? Like, yep, like it's the timing isn't right because you have a couple of other things you need to clear up, and you know, put the period, put the period at the end of those sentences, and exactly because right. he feels like he's around you. I mean, now. Yep. Can you right. describe him? Uh, uh, he's tall, slim, not like muscular not like the hulk right. you know right. Right. but yeah. he but he's got kind of an uh when i say athletic body like a swimmer's body right. or a or a basketball player's body only he's not right. six foot eight right. and right. very very, very clean good. cut <laughs> soft yep. spoken but has a fabulous sense of humor and could charm could paint it? off a wall Oh. <laughs> That's dangerous. Okay. Oh no, this that. one this one is really pure gold. He is beautiful inside. And okay. he has he's he's been hurt. He knows what mm-hmm. it is to be authentic with people and doesn't have any issue with that. I he's saw a lot of male friends around him. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of male friends and has Beautiful relationships with his family. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I yeah, that. Um, I wish I had his phone number to give you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I, have, I did see a tall gentleman, uh, and he I, he did catch my eye, but I don't think he saw me. Oh, it's not him, honey. No, no, no. This is somebody casually. You have. Encountered. This is not somebody that you went to to have your eyes examined. No. <laughs> I was shown. I was shown that he saw her. You what, honey? I was. I said, Karen. I was. I was shown that he saw her, and I kept seeing a uh, like a dark colored navy or or dark green puffy vest and a white shirt underneath it, and. It must have been when I tested that. I kept seeing that they have crossed paths this the end of this winter and through some chilly times. I don't know where seven oh seven is, but um, he was dressed warmly, but he had like a it was casually, and he had a white shirt on underneath this. He probably travels a lot. He might be a pilot. Well, I got a yes on that. Yeah, he might be a pilot. But it feels like he he's he's around you, and it feels like 
he's seen you more than once, but you may may not have seen him more than once yet. Yes Trust me, you will know because there's nobody you've ever known that is like him. So yeah. do you see it within the next few weeks? I got Honey, know. what day is it? I want to say any time now. If you want to give me a moment while you're talking to Karen, I'm going to try and test and see if you're going to see him soon, all right? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. You that talk to Karen. Oh, I like and, that. Yeah, let me just see if I can whip something up here with my Yay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, Karen. What's your I first name? Really, uh, what, sweetheart? My, what What's the that? lady's first name? Yeah, what is your first name, please? Oh, Valerie. Valerie. Okay. I'll be back in a sec. Y'all talk. Okay. Uh, Karen, I was impressed with that reading that I had with you uh, a couple of months ago. I was like, oh, yes, yes. This outside. Because you mentioned about uh, having to take care of people, and you both did that. And oh, my God. That's been your lifelong life. job, honey. Yeah. That's what, that's what so you've you, done your whole life, and now it's your turn. Right. And that's what you were saying. Well, there's a, do you remember earlier I said, and I said to you a few minutes ago, I said there are just a couple of little things you need to finish up here? Yes. That's when those are cleared, because you don't have five minutes really to yourself. And well, you I have. I well, do wait. Now. I, okay. Well, yeah, but there's a couple of little things that need to get tied up. Okay. And okay, you know so what they are. Come on. You know. Yes. And yes. after yes. those are done, I want you, you need to have, I'm not. I'm very serious, five minutes of Valerie time. Right. I'm serious, where you just are doing nothing but taking care of you. Well, the thing is, I have someone uh, staying here at the moment. They were uh-huh. only supposed to be here for three months, but now it's Are going they le- to Aren't the they summer. leaving in August? Well, that's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're, they're leaving in August, honey. Well, then oh. in July, the third week of July, they meet. Yeah, Which that's week? very possible. <laughs> very Which possible. Week? That's close enough. Did she say July? Yeah. Yeah, the third week. Oh, okay. Oh, Sounds well, good great. to me. I like it. Sounds good to me, too. <laughs> and then Mr. And so Cutie you... Pants will show up. <laughs> and so you do see them moving You see them moving out in August, not before. It, well, if the like Vanessa said, the end of July, the by the 10th of August, they'll be gone. And I mean gone. Yeah. Okay. They have their own place. Okay. Oh yes. Well, it's the funny nice part is it, again. I know, but again, they feel like they're moving in with somebody else. They do they are they not comfortable being with themselves? Uh, they no, like being it, there. She waits on them. Mm-hmm. No, it's, they're wait, uh, One of them's waiting for a job to come through. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they've been waiting for two weeks to hear the word. So do you see them? Do you see that person getting the job? It doesn't feel like that job, honey. It, no, it. Yeah, agreed. agreed. Yeah, doesn't feel like that job. Tell them to keep looking. Don't stop. Okay. And okay. Also, tell them to write down what they want for that job and and just God write bless out you, a girl. Yeah. That's right. right. And that that will manifest. Great. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you both very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Go get them, Dolly. Thank you, and Kelly. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. Bye. Good to see you again. Bye bye. Thank you. There bye, you sweetheart. You're on the air. Hi. Right. Thank you for taking my call. Hey there. How you hey doing? There. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, you guys are having a great night. <laughs> yeah. Fun to Honey, every night when you wake up and most of your parts work, we got nothing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, um, ladies, my name is Julia, and I'm calling from Florida. Hi. And I, Hi, hello. Julia. <laughs> and um, 
I'm calling to see uh, potential employment opportunities on the horizon. I need to be switching gears and doing a little life changing. So Good finding for you. employment. This has been a, honey, this has been a long time coming. Yes. I see a lot of kids. I mean, I mean, wow, no kidding. You have carried everybody's dead weight. Isn't it time mm-hmm. to do something you love? Yeah, just trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> I, like, I know, oh, no, gonna, what do I, do now? I know you're. <laughs> I know you're going to laugh at me, but you would have made such an amazing docent. Oh wow! I haven't heard that word for a long time. Which is Isn't that right? interesting? A docent. So you know yeah. a lot about certain very specific mm-hmm. things, like at art museums or. Yeah. Uh, oh I mean, gosh, what's a docent? A docent yeah. is the person that is the expert and does the tours mm-hmm. of oh. these amazing places. I saw so oh. many kids around you when you got on the line. So, you know, schools come and tour, but they're so bright, the docents, and they take their role very seriously. Absolutely. And we learn a lot. Yes. Yep. And we learn a lot from the docents. Absolutely. And it's so funny to me because you have worked with such a grump, a bunch of grumpy old farts. You know, it's like time for you to actually be Breathe able again. to work with people that appreciate you. You know, so yeah. that's well, my reason. I want to find fun. I fun. I just oh well, yeah. I this really feels like to find fun it's so and funny. Enjoy my this This feels like something you would absolutely love and be so good at and appreciated. God, what a concept, being appreciated. Yes, yeah. She's been, I called your energies in. I thought I was checking your chakras. And you, everyone's a psychic. Everyone's a medium. Everyone is intuitive. Yes, agreed. And you need to open your third eye and at least do this. You need to trust your third eye because it's, it's largely closed. What is your third eye? It's between your eyes. It's, it's, it's pineal gland. It's opening your intuition. And there's some terrific things that you can do to do that. The next thing that I found was that your throat chakra is closed up. Well, what's this? It's the communication center. In this current, current role, are you very silent and, and you're just kind of, paying attention to the people who need to be aided and helped? I pretty much just was the people pleaser and like, yep. you know, everybody, yeah. the peacemaker of the family, so I was That's always you, sort Dolly. of trying to... So stay there. Well, yeah, so and you're in the Burger me. King phase. You can have it your way now. <laughs> what are you waiting <laughs> for? <laughs> That's what's clever. It's just That's the true. starting over point is is just a little overwhelming because but you know honey, I'm it doesn't have to be. So it just he, no. if if you can look at it as an opportunity rather than an oh my god how am I going to do this? Mm-hmm. This is an opportunity mm-hmm. to for things that you have waited thirty years to do. What the yeah. heck are you waiting for, honey? And take care of only yourself. Focus on you, and it Bingo. looks like you just want to laugh again. Yeah. God it's, bless you, Vanessa. <laughs> well, Karen, you're really amazing. I mean, what a blessing for me to participate on this show with Jonathan and Kelly and our callers and you and Barbara in Heart and Soul. Absolutely. A, yeah, so it's my honor to be here. Yeah, there's a little bit of soul fragmentation going on with you. It's, I kept picking up, and I defer to what, what Karen might pick up, is that you want to laugh again. It's like you need to shake yes. the inside. And stop yeah. being afraid to laugh. You're not, I promise you, you do not have an allergy to being happy and laughing. <laughs> I swear, yeah. no matter how, how complicated it seems it's been over the years, I promise, you can, you'll remember in a nanosecond how to do that. <laughs> Yeah. Were you very studious when you were growing up? 
Yeah, I'm a Virgo perfectionist. I want to, you know, pay Bingo. attention to details, get it right. Yep. You know. Yep. Well, so. that's that because okay, I know you know a lot about a lot, and boy, you could share that yeah. with people that would actually appreciate your knowledge. I keep, yeah, I keep seeing bonus. Like you would be a bonus and a benefit. You know, you would benefit. Um, oh, isn't that the, the truth? art museum? In, but it, in, yes, the art museum is exactly what it felt like. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I didn't pick up on that, but uh, that feels right. If I test it, I get a yes on that. Karen, that's amazing. Well, it just um, when okay. you were talking about doing something that you, you know, for something completely different, in the words of those great sages, Monty Python, it's <laughs> that was. I mean, it feels like you are so well versed and so yeah. intelligent about so well many spoken. things. Pick what you love, well and that door will open. Absolutely. There's to be hired by a, a gentleman mm-hmm. who will love her. Mm-hmm. You guys will become great friends. Mm-hmm. You're getting so, a little um, emotional. I think. That... What, sweetheart? Well, I was picking up on the emotion behind that. Just, uh, uh, you don't have to tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I, ra- I rather sense picking up a lot of emotion behind your eyes about this. The call. Emotion behind my eyes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, it, I'm having a hard time uh, hearing you. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, That's emotion, okay. Like, a welling up of emotion behind your eyes. It's, you know, it's a new, yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. So uh, you guys do you actually you. see a job coming for me? You do? do oh, you get absolutely. Like a, Open the yeah. door and, and get rid of the okay. fear, honey. You can evict you, that from your exact, mind. That is exactly right because you're blocking it with your heart chakra. Stop being afraid. Okay. You have a lot to bring to the party, girl. That's right. right. Karen's right. Now, does, that, does that answer all your questions, ma'am? Yes. Thank you so much. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you. I, I appreciate right. the, the support. Go the for it, sweetheart. So <laughs> thank you. Yay. Yay. Thank you for calling in. Thank you so much. Hello. You Mr. are very welcome, sweetheart. Hello. This is Chris, Chris this Kipper is, from Allentown. This is area code 484. Hey, Hello. hi, Christopher. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm seeking uh, information about some old energy I'm connected to. Um, oh. I learned this a couple weeks ago and uh, found out from two different countries. Uh, one I knew about, but a new one. Um, I'm curious uh, how this will affect me in different ways. Uh, uh, Britain and Monaco. Britain is the new one I found out. Miss Vanessa. Well, oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, if I'm picking up on your question, if you're you want to know about some old energy. Is this from, are you referring to a past life or family. something that you, yeah, family. Um, I'll tell you what I came up with at this moment, and I'm a little perplexed. I came up with an, an old well, an old stone well, and I'm trying to make a connection there. Was I, I'm really kind of a little bit out of a loss. I might need a little bit more information about the connection with family, unless Karen's got something that she's picked up on. Well, it My feels father. like his bloodline, I mean, he's going to be dumbstruck when he finds out how deep it goes in these two places. Mm-hmm. The deep well, then. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I found out I'm in line, because basically I'm one of the main, part of the main uh, family groups of both countries. Ah, Okay. That's the connection. Royal. That makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, okay. 
I'm not picking up on that, so I'm going to defer to Karen on this one. If I figure something out, I, I hope I can jump in. Oh, I'm not please. picking up on anything. Well, it's, now, I don't know where you got this information, so here's what I'm getting. It's that your royalty in, in these lines. Now, I'm going to say this, and I mean it with love, is that we work with truth here. And mm-hmm. when oh. I ask that question, I get a no. I get a no. And can I ask you who supplied you with this data? Who supplied you with Ancestry. this information? Ancestry.com. Right. Okay. So they were showing me an old deep well. And, you know, sometimes when people want to hide things, they'll throw things down a deep well. And I think mm-hmm. what we have here is a lot of, you know, recycled criterion that says that you were royalty in this lifetime. I'm going to tell you something. I do run that across That doesn't have soul. anything to do with what I'm looking at. This doesn't have any – this just has to do with relationships. It doesn't feel like it has anything to do with the pomp and circumstance of royalty. I'll go with you on that. Yeah. I'm getting a no that this is – it's called inaccurate information is what I'm picking up on. Okay. But I – I definitely well, do think talk- the bloodline goes to those two places, but it oh, okay. doesn't feel All like right. it has anything to do with royalty or any of that stuff. That feels Actually, well, that's probably this. good news for me then. Uh, well, yeah. Because royalty is actually a liability. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you I don't have to worry that- about that, you know. So, like, <laughs> that's your liability. That'd probably be good news. Yeah, well, well under- that doesn't feel even relevant to this. Agreed. So, I, yeah, I, I think under- you're absolutely a thousand percent right, Vanessa. Well, well, I, I don't think I could have done it without you on this one at all, Karen. So, the thank combo you. pack. I got, oh, <laughs> the combo pack. Yeah, the combo pack. I got. 18 to 19% accuracy in what you were told or found, you know, about that data that was shared with you about this royalty or old tie package. So, you know, there's a shred of truth, but there, I'm glad that we could delineate that there's, I'm not really finding a lot of truth behind the data. Well, that doesn't feel like it's the relevant information. The relevant information okay. feels like it's you have a 12th cousin removed, you know. I, I okay. say jokingly, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I was mainly looking for spiritual connections anyway. Oh, the, that I think you would find if you have – have you traveled there? Astrally. No, right. No, I'm talking about in this life. No, no I'm not able know. to. Well, but if you, you have an opportunity to, I think that would be a, a great gift you could give yourself. Can yes. I just say something because about it would that? answer it would answer a lot of questions for you on a spiritual level, Christopher. Yeah. There's a, I, I, I have doubts about having physical connections with my old bloodline because of the finances. Well, the heck with all that. This is about your spiritual growth. Yeah, it's easier to go. What's nice about spiritual is it's free. (laughs) We've already (laughs) paid the toll for that. Yeah, you don't have to pay for tickets for that. See, funny about that. <laughs> Asshole projection is does, does, and um, also, uh, oh boy, it's amazing. Ain't relevant. It, ain't it, relevant it has nothing to, to do with it. It ain't relevant to does, spirit. Does that answer all your nope. questions, Christopher? What? Uh, does that answer all your questions, Christopher? It, it answered my question in spirit. Seems like that's what I was looking for. Yep. Okay. Not, not the physical it, family itself. Okay. All right. Well, I if you have a chance and you can make a plan to go visit, I have a feeling that you would feel very much at home on that land. It would be a very, very powerful experience for you. Wow. On a spiritual Especially level. Beautiful. It's true. I ever find out the caring. physical side, then I can come back and talk about it. Uh, Go for it. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You well, take thank, care. You have a good night. You too. Bye, Bye. Christopher. Bye. Okay, area code Bye. 425. You're on the air. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hey, you're talking to Robin? Oh, hey, Robin. <laughs> That's hey, Robin. a pretty name. Mm-hmm. So, What's new? My question, so my question is, is that um, uh, I have a laid a plan out, and um, for uh, this month, and uh, actually it's going to be coming out um, next month. And I you just have want to know what how planned how out, honey? You- You have what planned out? Hello. Are Hello. you there? Rob Robin? Well it would say if we dropped it would we say if we lost him. Let me okay. let me see oh. if he's on the air. There we go. It seems like something to do with music. Okay. Okay, he seems to be still on the air. Let me see here. Um, I accidentally muted myself. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, was it something we said? I mean, <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, what I ended up saying was, is that? I... Oh, weird. Something is. Where did you go you again, honey? No, Robin, something is blocking. There is something on the other side. It's very nefarious, and it's blocking him from communicating with us. Wow. So what? Are you, yeah, are you still there, Robin? Give it a go again. Yeah, I'm still still here. Honey, I think if you have something on your side, it's not the phone. That's blocking. There isn't. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, my gosh, I just got part of confirmation on that. And Kundalini. Um, I have a. I want you to go ahead and ask the questions, but um, I really think you have something like an entity, and I see what it is. It's a being that really water hovers over you. Do you have a lot of? And here it is about the plans. Do your plans fail, Robin? Yeah. Yeah. Do your plans? You make good plans, and then your plans fail. Does that make sense? Um, not all the time. Sometimes they do. Yeah, it's not you. It's not me. You have something, no, honey, it is something that is hovering around you. I see something, uh, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I do for people is I clear it after the show. Um, this is something that's hanging around on the back right side of you. This is not a good a good thing. Don't worry about it because I'll take care of it. It's very male. Um, do you live in a? Is, do you hear a lot of doors that slam? Do you hear things in the house and it stops you from what you're doing and takes you off off course? Um, I get a yes on it. I don't. But. I don't hear a lot of doors that slam, but yeah, sometimes. Okay. Well, sometimes I do hear some slamming things at nighttime, but I don't I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's yeah. doors though. But it's something that's slammed. Yeah. And you've had but, things disappear that you've been looking for too. And um, and recently I've been smelling on Sunday. It smells like uh, yeah. perfume. Mm, you got company what do you see Karen what are you picking up because you you clear houses too you clear properties I know you're going to think I'm crazy but this feels like when I say older I mean older than him okay oh yeah oh yeah she feels like a grown up and it feels like somebody that lived in there a long time on that property a long time before he was ever born I get it yeah it's I get a very male dominated. And very attached here. to that property. 
and I get a yes on that. Sometimes yep. there are here, – here's my take on what you could be dealing with. And Karen jumped in, of course, and, and Kelly and Jonathan. Here's the deal. Is that sometimes spirits are very narcissistic. They're very socio – there's a sociopathology that keeps them, that person, when they're a sociopath in this lifetime, and they pass away and they you know, they're, free, they're so afraid to transition. And so they stick around. And this now Karen's picking up on a female, and you smell the perfume. I'm picking up on a male. There could be a polarization of entities there, which are quashing. Oh, this definitely feels like a woman to me. Okay, okay. And she wants them out. Do you pick up on that, Karen? What do you? Well, she feels a real. I keep wanting to say like, this is my home. Yeah, I get that. You know, she is. Very, this is a woman that had presence. Yeah. And I know you're going to laugh when I say this. I just want to, I, I want to laugh when I say it. She feels like for her day, she was quite a little sex pot, you know? I mean, <laughs> the, you know, this okay. is not, this is not a woman that was mothering everybody. She feels like she was a sex pot, you know, a vamp. Very narcissistic. <laughs> yes. And then the perfume. Yeah. So you're Claire. You have a you you are Claire Alien. That's the Claire of smell, which I too am that, and I'm sure Karen is. And um, it smells tell you a lot about what's going in, going on rather in a home, in a property. And you know what? You have to forgive me, Robin. But what is your question? I'm sorry. I'm going to clear all this. But what is your question about this plan? So I was going um going back to martial arts and then also do wrestling lessons. Oh, I I think you and I've spoken before, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have. And I did a reading for you and I think you called me and I my office was closed. Um and we <laughs> I can't even remember. That's why I'm a channel. I'm not supposed to remember everything, but you were you were going to move forward on on the martial arts, yes? Yeah. And you wanted to do the wrestling, and and I think that, that we said that there was a coach not far from you, yes? Yeah. Uh, so your question is why has that plan not manifested? Um, I'm going to be start on starting on, on Thursday. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah. In the wrestling? Yeah. He wants to wrestle. And I'm not crazy about I, that. That just doesn't <laughs> feel right to me. I'm sorry, it honey. It doesn't, huh? I, I beg oh, of good. you. You don't know me, okay? You have such a gift for martial arts. It's something that literally feels like it's in your <laughs> DNA, okay? I'm okay. begging you. I'm begging you to please do that. The wrestling feels like... It, it concerns me for you to stay well, okay? Because that okay. doesn't feel like a natural fit. Okay. And, hon- and honestly, I, I'm sorry. Excuse okay. me for interrupting. Sorry, the no, okay. in the martial arts, you can be a superstar. I'm not kidding. Mm, okay. No. I'm and, begging and I, you, don't I'm, do the wrestling thing, sweetheart. I'm feeling okay. like if you do the wrestling that you're going to get hurt. He, that's what and I was Martin, saying to him. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But, and, but yeah. why I interject, it, it's Absolutely. Recent wrestling, like what we see at the high school and college level. It's not It's not like the WWE wrestling. It's, it's, oh, I no, no, no. On, yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just I'm just concerned because the martial arts feels like it's something that he came in with this gift for this. Yeah, he is yeah. Good at it. Yeah. And it is he something is that I mean he can be a superstar. Okay? The wrestling concerns me what you said, Kelly, about him getting injured, but I'm talking about seriously. Okay. Uh, because this is not a natural fit for him. There really is an artist that lives inside of him, and that the martial arts feeds that 
Do you know what I mean? There's a grace I'm to it. I'm feeling that. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. And the mindset. And 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 and, 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 and I was just going to say, and a consciousness to it, where the wrestling, mm-hmm. it is not that. It's I'm gonna I, I'm gonna pick you up and slam you, you know, and I'm concerned about him getting injured, but seriously injured. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling like a trauma to the head type injured. And the spine. Yeah, I yeah, guess the spine, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and there's something. Robin, well, does that? Robin, I'm sorry. What something? did you What did you say, Robin? I was gonna say about um. You know how you're saying about the uh, the sex vamp thing? The well, what? Um, the, the, the sexy uh, lady. The, the sexy lady. Oh yes. Well, yes. Um, well, for probably for about a month now. Um, or you're talking about the um, the um, older um, the um, that was uh, been slamming doors. Mm-hmm. For about for about month month now, I've been mm-hmm. having headaches that have been that have been giving me seizures. Oh crap! She's oh. sure trying to get your attention. Those are psychic attacks. You're not and kidding. And another reason not to do wrestling. Please, sweetheart, don't do wrestling. And I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but do you have any incense? I don't care what um, kind it is, as long as it's something you like, you know? Not right now, I don't. Can you There's do me a favor and do yourself a favor? Get some, okay? And I want okay. you to take it into every cor- every corner, every closet. I want you to wave it around inside those it, things, okay? And then I want salt. you to let it burn out somewhere in the room. Okay. Okay. You can all be and wait. Let me finish. I'm sorry. And sorry. and I want you to make sure that all the windows are closed. Okay. While you're doing right. this, and then you let it burn out. And after it's burned out, which is usually about 15 minutes, then I want you to air out the house. Okay. Okay. Because it they can't stay, and she will not be able to stay where incense is burned. Mm-hmm. What kind okay. of what Honey, kind? any kind that we're, he likes. I don't care if it's the mm-hmm. cone. I don't care if it's a wand. I don't care mm-hmm. if it's sage. It doesn't have to be any particular kind as long as it's something he can stand for a half an hour, you know? Oh, um, yeah, okay. It's good to know. Yeah, I, I mean, because... Okay. You see, go ahead. Well, I would also suggest... Well, I was just going to ask... I'm sorry, Vanessa's so, trying to say something. <laughs> I would also suggest salt. Salt across thresholds. Oh, salt. my God, on the outside of the yeah. door. Absolutely. Yeah, Front door um, and back also, door. Yeah. Um, I have At, a lot of experience with haunted houses. Not as, Oh, my God, I'd me happen- too. I know you. Yes, you said you cleared hundreds and hundreds. And oh my God! I all have, over the world. Yes, I know you have, and um, I have a lot of experience and success with black tourmaline, and I grid properties, and it just absolutely shuts crazy down. But as I, said, <laughs> I evict them. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, it does. It, it it does a lot. Um, I will clear your house from here too, but. Do what Karen's suggesting with the sage. In fact, I'm sitting here with sage burning right now, and I'm sitting inside a grid of black tourmaline, selenite, and pyrite. Oh, nice. Yeah. I wanted to. Please, Robin. That That will help her leave you alone, and it'll help your headaches. Yeah, okay. and you're in good hands with Vanessa or clearing it. She's done that for me, and it's, it's. Has been makes very a big difference. Great. Yep, it really I'm so glad. I'm, okay. so I'm glad your call made it through. That Me was right. a great too. Reading. Thank you, Robin. Me too. Thanks. Thank you, Talk Robin. You soon. Bye, Robin. Okay. Bye, Area Robin. Code two, bye, Robin. Area code two eight one. You're on the air. Oh. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. Hey. That's hilarious. We're all going, hello. I'm hello. sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make this quick, but I will say that I've enjoyed your show. It's been awesome, and I've been laughing along with y'all. Y'all ba- bounce off each other really well. <laughs> so very entertaining. I love it. Um, you like I the tampon? Qu- I don't really – I don't have anybody in my life, so I'm wondering if I'm going to go the rest of my life with no But you have us. <laughs> well, that's true. I'm talking about a, a significant other. That I can, oh, you know, those people. <laughs> yeah, I have great, great friends. I truly do. I have wonderful friends. Because you are that one, I love sweetheart. Dearly. Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I just, I, I have great friends that have always, you know, just, I'm really blessed that way. And I know you well, I said earlier that God has a plan for us all. So Absolutely. Just, and you had, you had somebody in your life that really didn't belong in your life, and you gave them enough rope to hang the whole neighborhood with and finally said, what the heck am I doing? You know, and that was a long yeah. time ago, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm just, I now, just want to know that I'm not going to spend the rest of my life alone because I want somebody absolutely, to be there. Absolutely, and you need to get rid of the fear. Yeah, I am really fearful. You had I live a, in a long, little bitty town. <laughs> you had a lot. Yeah, but so what? There's always somebody new coming in. No, and this I'm not guy from doesn't... the town, though, so it's worse. Honey, it's, no, it's... no, 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 no. You want to hear something funny? He doesn't feel like uh-huh. he's from there either. Oh, good. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, okay, you don't know him yet. But okay. uh, you know how they always say film at 11? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna. He's, good, you you're know, gonna too. meet him through somebody that you know. He's. I want to say either related to them, or mm-hmm. like a, a. This is gonna sound like a funny thing. An ex brother in law, but they liked him better than they did their sister. You know. <laughs> like, <laughs> they decided to keep the ex brother in law and get rid of their sister. You know. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> quality over quantity. You know. And, uh, yep. And he's just the nicest. He's self-made, has his own money, doesn't need you to take care of him. He's good. His good. kids That's are grown. Good. He's not. Well, there's good, none of mine are too. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a grown up and he has a fabulous sense of humor. By the way, I hope you like to travel because he does. Good. I got a bucket list. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. Good, good. He's, I just want he's that guy, sweetheart. You and... guys get your make sure your passports ready. Oh, ooh, ooh. wow! I better do that. Um, yep. But you know, I really not appreciate current, it. By the way, if it's not your passport's not up to date, the universe uh-huh. doesn't know you really want to travel. Oh, okay. I better do that. Yeah, <laughs> did it expire? I never used Thank it. You. That's the sad thing. Oh, but, honey, um, you need to you need to make sure that you update, you get get it current, and and active, because he is, okay. his is and he's ready to rock and roll. Sure. Now, he's have adorable. I met him yet? Or... No, oh, he's not well, there, there yet, but he will be okay. in a minute. <laughs> okay. You know, that's a Karen Page <laughs> minute. You know, <laughs> it's not a literal minute, but. Yeah, right. I mean, you I can, and it's funny. You're going to meet future. him. You're going to meet him at looks like it looks like either a barbecue or a casual outdoor dinner at a, one of your friends' house. I mean, okay. it is. They this guy is so lovely. He's a keeper, yeah. and you guys will. Cl- it's instant. You will. Good. It, That's what I want. It, Good. You'll love the way you guys are going to love the way I, this, this. You'll recognize each other immediately. It's okay, that, that's oh, there good. you are moment. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. There you yep, go. Yep, and okay. he'll, he's the same. He will feel exactly the same way about you. Okay, well, that's good. I always have hope, so that's good. I oh, like that. Oh, sweetheart, like you that. need to know you're not meant to be alone. You've had nothing but grief and nothing but loss and nothing but heartache. It's time for the fun portion of the program. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, and I appreciate listening to your show. It was really a nice way to spend my evening, and I'm so thankful because you guys oh, made you're me so laugh. Oh, you're so sweet. Aren't, right aren't, aren't, the day. aren't Jonathan and Kelly wonderful? They're oh, yes, they are. great. Yes, I love it. 
I know. I love them, too. <laughs> you all clicked together really, oh, really well. Are great. Wow. Yep, thank and you. Vanessa was so like the surprise you gift, you know? Oh, she, no. she's <laughs> wonderful. She, Isn't she wonderful? Yes, she is. She is a gift. Well, thank you. That's for sure. She's oh, a keeper. You know, thank you. All for, for giving me hope, I can go to bed with some sweet dreams tonight. So I Honey, appreciate Honey, have a peace so, so hard. Okay? You, and you have a great night. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye sweetie. Take care. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. And, uh, Facebook. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. No, no, we have that was awesome, um, a few more. What a sweet lady. We have a few more. Yeah. We have a few oh, more yay. callers, but uh, did, did you want to take some more callers, or did you, I mean, want to wrap it up a little? Or, or I mean, is, is is that okay with you? Who? We can take another caller. Darren, and then wrap yeah. It up. Okay. All right. So we'll take one more caller. Okay. 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 Good. This last one is an un, um, is a is a un, is a blocked Hi. number. So is a what? Who, who, who is it? Is a blocked Hi, number. Uh, all one. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, uh, my name is okay. Lisa, and I have listened to your show several times. The first time I got in, so I'm so happy. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So glad you got in. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's good news. Very interesting. So, okay, so I have a question, ladies. And sir, I have a question. Um, I uh, there, I have a, a brown a brown dog that's small, uh-huh. like a Dachshund. And uh, where where I was leaving, yes, sir. I I was wondering if you see me rec- recovering my dog back. Oh, you know, I know you're going to laugh, but he doesn't feel like he's very far from you. I got a yes on that. True. Yeah. Um, it feels like it's, one of I want to say either one of your neighbors. I mean, he doesn't yes. feel like he's far from you, sweetheart. Yeah. Another mm-hmm. woman. Go ahead. Go ahead. And it's a woman yeah. with a grown son or or young man that lives with her. I got a yes on all that. And she feels like the boss of everything, you know. But you, yes, you'll get your dog back. Um, um, who, who's gonna give it to me hot soon, please? Because I'm, because I'm suffering. Sweetheart, I know you're gonna laugh at me, but <laughs> when you go to sleep tonight, I want you to talk to your dog. Oh, yeah, yes, that's the thing. Right. I'm not kidding. Just call him. I home. want you, and you don't have to do it out loud. Do it in your head. Trust me, he'll hear you. It's not. It won't be too long because he's not their dog. I don't know why in the world they would even do this. What's wrong with people? I'm she sorry. Did I everything. say that? Yeah. No. Never mind. She's a taker. I thought she was a taker. Well, you know, it's like I don't know how to break it to her, but that's not how it works. You know, it's like. You know, but you will get your dog back, sweetie. Um. Do, 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 do you know what's going to be from a phone call? Is uh, is a woman going to call me or a man? I know I know you're going to laugh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't knock on your door. Um, they they don't know where where I live. Yeah, they do, honey. Yeah, they do, and and the the I'm telling you, your dog is right around you. The people that picked him up and took him home. You have seen them, and they have seen you. Are there flyers out in the neighborhood about the little guy? Um, I, I, I haven't put flyers. So I'm going to start putting flyers. That's a good, well, great idea, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. Well, this woman is. It'll very give much her an about... excuse. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah that's that's, point. isn't that she's terrible? Very, it's like, what is well, wrong with people? You know, she's very controlling. She's very controlling. Man, and um, she's someone that says that she can do it better. Yeah, and she saw it and she wanted it, and that's that. You're right, Karen. It's like, man, it's it's not a man that has my dog. It's not a man. It feels like there is a man in the residence with her, but she feels yeah. like the boss of everything. 
and the, this is either a, a grown son of hers or just a younger man that lives in the house with her. It doesn't feel like it's ooh baby romantic, you know, because right. she looks um, like she's old enough to be his mother. Right. Okay, good. So uh, she, she she's going to return it back to me? Do you know how soon, please? She's I'm going to bring your baby back to you. Oh, that's nice. What, honey? Thank oh, you yeah. very much. That's... And and it's funny because I see her with the, with him in a box. It's like, what are you doing? You know, with like a towel or something underneath it. Oh. Underneath underneath him, like she okay. just found him. You're yes. getting you're getting your baby back, sweetheart. That's good news. Yeah, really. That's good news. I'm I'm gonna talk to my dog and keep praying. That's one. Well, I'm telling you, talk to him because yes, he doesn't yes. belong with her. True. She has no right to him. So please talk to him. It, we're both, yes. you know, we're both not crazy. So please, and put the flyers out. Mm-hmm. Vanessa's okay. absolutely right. It's psychic like communication. The cool thing with the flyers, the cool thing with the flyers is she'll not only know where he belongs, but her neighbors absolutely. will too. They'll be yep. like, "Hey, isn't that the dog on the flyer?" And I don't care what lie she tells them. Okay, as long yeah. as you get your dog back, that's all that matters. Right, right. There's a child that's identified the dog with the woman. Sounds yeah. right. But you will get thank your dog you. back, sweetheart. Go for it. That's good. Yes, thank you, ladies. I'll, I'll let, let y'all know. Okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. Have a blessed night. Thanks for calling. Now, uh, I wanted to say something before we end the show. I I have this um, we have this software that we've been using for the show called Blue Jeans. Have I told you about it, Karen Page? Vanessa? You mentioned it to me, but I don't. You know, I'm I'm completely a dodo when it comes to that kind of stuff. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots well, of people well, that are, are the you know experts. <laughs> what I wanted to do is I was thinking. You know, what would happen if we had you and Vanessa on on our Blue Jeans video thing and people would be able to call in and take calls and we would record it and put it on YouTube. Now, what do you both think about that? I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't care. They see you. We'll We'll have to call our makeup artist. You know, and I mean, our I wardrobe know. people. I mean, it's like, <laughs> right? no, no, yeah, no, they no, waited no, for no, me. No, yeah, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> well, it's a, did, I mean, it was, it was, it's so ridiculous. It's hysterical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I'm the girl that kind of goes, yeah, I think I have a mascara in here somewhere, you know. (laughs) I told Kelly, I knew I was in trouble when women started walking up and touching my skin. And I said, what are you you doing? And they said, what what makeup are you wearing? And I went, I don't wear makeup. I was like, what are you talking about? Wow. (laughs) Yeah, like, you know, so that's yeah, awesome. it's the makeup artist. Yeah, we're amazing. on it. What a compliment! I think what a compliment. Be a makeup here. artist, but, and I have a ton of it, but I don't wear it very often. Yeah, it's like, and you have gorgeous skin, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, like I love it. Time, but, you know, kind of one of those I things. I love it. I Yay! No, I, play, <laughs> I play with hair color more than I do with makeup. <laughs> oh, the uh, color you know, your hair is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I um, I love it when you're when you would both on Karen and Beth because I mean it's it's uh, your view on things. I I think I um, 
I loved the reaction when I told you about my idea about the monkey proctologist. Oh God, <laughs> that is. <laughs> Did you hear about this, Vanessa? Yeah. Did you hear about this, Vanessa? We gotta tell him now. <laughs> you gotta well, tell what me happened now. was, I actually had an idea where we could do a skit on the show where we interview someone who would pretend to be a monkey proctologist. <laughs> and they would have to explain certain things, like, for example, how do you get the monkey to bend over? Um, <laughs> how do you know when Bobo the gorilla is sad? And how do you um, how do you how do you put the hand up the monkey without having it turn into a gorillas in the mist beach deliverance situation? <laughs> <laughs> these, these are important questions. A very. <laughs> Critical. And, and, you know, Eric, like, what would the sign out in front of his office look like, you know, with, with a monkey <laughs> bitch over with a man? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And we almost did that on April Fool, but he yeah. decided not to. And actually, it's so funny, as I told my father about the idea, and my father said, son, I, I don't think Barbara and Kelly are going to like the monkey proctologist idea as much as you do. Um, <laughs> that might offend them. Well, I don't know. They seem to like it. Oh, that's hilarious. I mean, it's just, you know. <laughs> I'm the animal person. Hey, you know, I could go along with that. What do you it. think Maybe about that idea, Vanessa? Well, what do you I'm, think about I that would idea, like, Vanessa? Well, I'm anxious what? to see what that looks like, I think. I wonder if I can get to see it <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> well, I don't think the it's going to have visual. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Very can funny. you imagine if your daughter was dating a monkey proctologist and he came home? How, how in the world would you well, ever you keep a living? straight face? You know, he's yeah, a doctor. Dude, what you're I, know, I mean, uh, Vanessa, well, you have um, kids. You know, I know you, you have kids. Hands, right? yeah. <laughs> Vanessa, you have kids. So what would you do if your son, if your daughter came home and she dated a monkey proctologist? Well, I, mean, I, I wouldn't be able to stop laughing. Carrie <laughs> <laughs> would just burst out laughing. That is for sure. Me, I would be asking <laughs> questions. <laughs> Really? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I know. It would definitely. Oh my God, that's something. hilarious! I'd be like, did you dream of doing this since you were a child? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is priceless, Kelly. I, mean, you know, I, mean, I can imagine the interview well, for it. No, really, you. Can you imagine the, the business cards that he hangs out, you know? If oh, my God. If really sad, you call me. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very specialized veterinarian. Oh, boy, that's the word. As a matter of fact, he has a client base of one. <laughs> very devoted. <laughs> one. The gorilla oh in the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a friend, you know, God bless her, she works with racehorses. But let's just say when they want to make more race horses, they don't put the male and female horse together because they could hurt each other. So there's a person yeah. involved in that process. Oh boy. Yeah. Yes, I no know kidding. all about I, that. I, my I father that told person. me all about that. Oh, That's you why know, he told me all about yeah. But actually, yeah. can you imagine horses, somebody like that having that their anymore. husband? Yeah. Uh, can you imagine what? somebody like that I mean, your brother be president of the United States and that's what you do for a living? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, seriously. Yeah, it's like, rather, excuse me, rather than having a sister that's a judge and you're the jackass. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Did I say that? <laughs> Just slipped out. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, When's your birthday, Vanessa? It's January twenty-nine. Oh, another twenty-niner. Oh yeah. That's one of my dearest friends' birthdays. Your birthday. Oh right. Uh, 
And I'm September 29th. Oh, are you, are, is that a Libra? Yep, I'm a Libra, but I have an Aquarius moon. Oh, I think you Ooh. explained that last time. I just, I'm married to a Libra, and y'all are the nicest, kindest people. We have our moments, and everybody's always <laughs> shocked when we say, no, that doesn't work for me. It's and they true. go, what? I was like, it's <laughs> true. <laughs> but the, I have never met a Libra I didn't like. You all are the dearest, smartest people. I just love them. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. It's the true. Oh, it's That's makes so my nice. heart sing. Every time I hear someone say, yeah, you poor Libras, you can't make up your mind, I look at them and go, who are oh. you talking about? <laughs> I've never heard that. Yeah, they're supposed feel- to be indecisive, and I'm thinking to myself, where wow. in the who wrote that nonsense? <laughs> yeah, know? that's not a thing. Oh, oh I just no. Love, I just love that group because they make me feel happy and safe, and they're fun. And see, what is you. so You're just, sweet. Well, it's the truth, and I've been really looking forward to this show tonight. Um, so and was I. I, I oh, oh, my gosh. It was so it was I, and when Jonathan introduced us the last time, it was like, there you are. Where the heck have you been? You know, it felt <laughs> like we knew each other. Oh, I, I was, um, well, I'm, I'm honored to participate with you because you're very seasoned professional, but not just in this lifetime. And, and I just want to thank you for allowing me and thank you for the invitation. I really very much appreciated the God, whole you're evening. So sweet. Thank you. That is well, so sweet. Well, it's lovely you go back. I think I, I was love working I know. with them. <laughs> We're going to do it with blue jeans. We're going to do it with blue jeans next time. That's going to be interesting, a video thing. That's going to be interesting. Okay. I can see the look in your face yeah. when you bring up tampons in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I will laugh. <laughs> that is utterly hilarious. Jonathan, <laughs> And now I can't even go to Costco and pass by the tampon aisle without <laughs> bursting out laughing. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I am ruined for life. <laughs> ruined for life. <laughs> and now you know when people start walking up to me going, uh, is there something funny in this aisle? I'll go, you have no idea. <laughs> no, actually, what's kind of fun is, did you ever see the TV show Dallas? Did oh, you of course. Yeah, TV show the, Dallas? Can I tell you yeah. something really funny? What? Before that yes. show ever went on the air and was ever picked up, the creators of that and the creators of Dynasty were my clients. Oh, okay. Oh, my well, goodness. But, Isn't that hilarious? Let me tell you a story about that. I, tell, I kept telling him, you don't that know what you have. You have a tiger by the tail. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. Well, what that happened what was, was, was that I, I – was told in call in high school to write a cliffhanger for Dallas. Now Dallas, they've got some pretty <laughs> far out uh, um, cliffhangers. So right. what happened was was that I decided to come up with the most far out cliffhanger they could possibly find. And you know, after I wrote it, by the way, have you ever seen the show Vanessa Dallas? Oh yes. <laughs> okay. That was gigantic. Well, I decided to write a cliffhanger yeah. that would top them all. So what oh. happened was, was that my teacher got really upset when she told me, look, I, you don't understand. You can't make Miss Ellie get pregnant. You can't make Miss Ellie get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, but why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness sake. My grandfather would have fallen out of his chair. Oh, I my God. That's I mean, I oh, thought. That is everybody did. I said, look. I mean, can you imagine Miss Ellie pregnant? You know, that would have been perfect. You know? That is, I mean, this, this, yes. this, that would have been, I mean, that would have been epic. <laughs> just the goodness. visuals of it are. I know, like, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> that would have definitely topped it. Oh my goodness! Oh. That's so funny. <laughs> They've done so many other crazy stuff. I mean. <laughs> Oh my God! You you could write stand up, Jonathan. <laughs> I think yes. so. I think. Oh so. my God! It is you are. You know what? And isn't truth are you laughing too funnier Vanessa? than fiction? I mean, well, it's true. It, it, right. So are you laughing too, Vanessa? Yeah, I am. My goodness, yes. Well, you're terribly <laughs> clever. 
It is <laughs> hilarious. It's like, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, I figured Maselli getting pregnant would top everything. You know, it just would that be, would do it. I mean, that would have been like one of the all time. <laughs> See, yeah. and that's when you say, "What do you mean that can't happen?" It's Dallas. Anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you it's ever Dallas. been to Texas? They've done everything else. <laughs> yeah. That's where I'm from. I'm from Texas. Are you what part? <laughs> yes, Houston. Oh, my God, I lived in Houston. Get out of here. I did the Houston slasher case. It's in my book. Oh, yes. Oh, no, really? You did that? I. Wow. I and worked Riverside. on that case. That's the story that about <laughs> Houston. It's called the Texas story. It, that was in Riverside. Oh, wow. yeah. Man, that's a trip. My friend and client developed the woodlands. Oh, get out of here. I, that Roger is Rosbach. Oh, my goodness sakes. Yeah. Jeez. That's oh hilarious. God. And they're the ones, that's the reason I came to Houston, because he was friends with the writers from the Houston Chronicle. And oh they, God. and they, he, they started, he started telling them about me and they did a front page article on me in the Houston Chronicle. Oh did they? Oh, I got yes. to find that online. Yep. Oh, Karen, that's just amazing. Yeah. I'm, Isn't that a I'm, trip? That's just wild. I'm in Illinois right now as I have another little property here. It's a small place. I hang my hat mm-hmm. here. But I, you're, that's Houston. That's my stomping ground. Oh, that's hilarious. I have, I still I did a book signing in Houston, and all my old oh my clients came, showed up there. And it was like, oh, my, oh God. my God, it was like welcome home week, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's just amazing. I would just that's, love it. I just, that's, yeah. That's it's great. Like a, I just there's 11 it. people in the world, and seven of them keep moving around. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yep. Well, I I just want to thank you all for letting me be on the show today. And thank you. It's thank a, you, I mean, You're just thank a you, joy. Everybody. It thank, was so natural. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Melissa. Oh. Thank you, uh, I love Kelly. you guys. Thank you. Thank well, you, everybody. Hug your